Time to get this party started on the way to the city. It's 7.22 a.m. Let's see what's in store for today. Let's see what kind of magic we can make happen today. I really don't know why I even attempt to come to the city on Mondays before 9 a.m. if I don't plan on doing Uber. I don't want to do Uber today. And I thought TaskRabbit would be busy this morning. TaskRabbit has just been, it's been really dead lately. I haven't did a TaskRabbit job in days now. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna go back to iCrack because iCrack's pretty chill. I got an appointment today. We'll have to see how that one works out. Now I've already accepted a Postmates job and whenever I say Postmates, I kinda have to laugh now because I already know it's gonna be a $5 delivery and I won't make a penny more than that. So that's why I always joke when I say the word Postmates. <laughs> Postmates. <laughs> Definitely this Postmates order will be a $5 order. But the good thing is that drop off is not that far away. Maybe it's like six blocks away. Won't really have to park too dirty. At the pickup now, about two or three minutes ago, I got a message saying, order's ready. So I show up there, order's not ready. I don't know, maybe another two or three minutes. Don't know what was up with that coffee shop, but I'm definitely never going back there again. I want to say it was like, like a like a feminist coffee shop or something like when I walked in there it was a dude in front of me the lady was like a complete jerk to him but when I first walked in I didn't really pay it that much attention because I don't know maybe he was a jerk to them but she was just a complete jerk like just horrible with him and then when it was my turn <laughs> she was definitely not nicer to me she was just as an asshole to me as she was to him and I don't know, maybe she just had a bad day, but gosh, I'm just glad I'm out of that place. Glad I'm, I don't work there all day. Just finished that delivery and I'm actually going back to the same place to pick up another order. <laughs> With those crazy, mean, feminist women, I guess they're gonna treat me like and Oh well, I'm still a dude at the end of the day. Just picked the second pickup from that same, you know, the feminist restaurant or whatever. So I went in there the second time. The second time was a little bit different. It was like, let's say it was like, it was like five women standing in line. And I sort of waited outside for the line to die down to about two people and then I went in. When I went in, the lady behind the counter, the lady that was a complete jerk to the guy in front of me the first time I was there and she was a complete jerk to me too. The same ladies there and she's talking to the two women in front of me and she's like, hey, how's it going? She's like really nice to the women, okay? And this is definitely not a skin color thing because I saw a black woman in there. She was really nice to the black woman too. I get to the counter and everything changes. She's like, yeah, you again. And I like literally laugh. I'm like, yeah, it's me again. Like, what have I fucking done to you now? You know, and, and is it just because I'm a dude? And she's like, yeah, what's your order number? And she was just like such a jerk. Like, I'm like, what did I do to you? I did absolutely nothing wrong to you. Like, and you're just. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Yelp and pull out my phone and voice my opinion in a really, really, really long message. Because that's not right. You know, you, you treat me different just because like I'm a dude. Like, I'm not trying to say that you're treating me different because I'm a dude. But it really seems that way. It really seems that way. Like, it was another guy in line. You talk, you talk to him like he was crap. There's women in line. You're very nice to them. But when there's a guy in line, you talk to them just like they're crap. And even the, the women that were working there, they all tend to have, like... It was like a total of three women working there. They tend to all have the same, like attitude they're like you know they look to be like they're just angry at the world or something I'm with that order I got a little bit of time to burn before my task rabbit grocery order this customer for the grocery order is really really annoying by the way I'm just gonna go ahead and say it 
because I accepted this job on Thursday. This customer has text messaged me every single day on Thursday. I got so many messages from this customer. She wanted to change the order. She wanted to add this. She wanted to switch grocery stores. It was just all this stuff on Thursday that she's telling me. And she wants me to do all this stuff on Monday. So on Thursday, I'm getting all these messages. On, on Friday, I'm getting these messages talking about what's going to happen on Monday. On Saturday, I'm getting messages that is telling me what's going to happen on Monday. On Sunday, I'm getting these messages. And now it's Monday. She's sending me more messages. If they don't have this item, get this item over here. If they don't have this other item. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many messages are you going to send me? Because honestly, TaskRabbit should start paying me by the messages I've received because that customer has sent me so many messages I almost want to flake on them but I'm not gonna do that because I want to use my credit card and get that 5% cash back for grocery store purchases that's the only reason I'm doing this one right now on this Trader Joe's right now and Trader Joe's is so strict so I was over there filming a minute ago just like this camera in my hand and everything and this Trader Joe's guy walks up to me and he's like are you filming and I look at him like this and then I look at the camera and I'm like no I'm not filming and then he walks away and I'm like of course I'm filming like why did you ask me that I got a camera in my hand I'm not talking to it what do you think I'm doing well anyway this order is almost done check it out this basket is completely full I'm about to go pay for all this stuff finally done with that I can't wait till this one's over with. I already found a parking spot. Time to drop all of these items off. Now this is the tricky part. I have all the items outside of the car here and I am going to try to take them all at once. And how I'm gonna do that is just take like three bags and take them like halfway down there to like that green fence and then walk and come back and get the three other bags and take them farther than where I dropped the other bags and just keep it going that way. That's how I'm gonna pull this one off. That job's over with. That actually took a pretty dang long time. I don't know if I wanna do the second job. I actually have the power to end that. Within the app, if you're on a job, what you can do is you can create an invoice. And when you create an invoice, you can like basically, you can, you can create an invoice and you can end the job or you can create an invoice and keep the job ongoing as if you're gonna like come back and work for them tomorrow. So I actually have that option now and I don't know what I'm gonna hit. Just accepted an order on Caviar. This order is uh, not too far away, but it's kind of tricky to get to and parking may be a little tricky, but we'll see what happens. On this one, I was able to find a decent parking spot, but come on, I just did not bother to pay the meter, right? This better be really fast, otherwise I'm going to be screwed. Ooh, wee, there's caviar. Alright, now we got to figure this one out. On this order, I just went to the restaurant. They said that the order was already picked up. So now I'm just communicating with caviar to see what's going on do I still get paid for this one question mark what's up with me today I'm breaking all the rules yesterday rocking the postmate shirt today is DoorDash day so if you're watching this from caviar HQ you guys should send me some caviar shirts like come on you know where I live you got my address on file there's just no way I'm gonna pay $25 for a caviar t-shirt come on that's how much you guys were charging for them at the orientation it was either 25 or 15 whatever it was I wasn't willing to pay that price come on if you guys are watching this at caviar HQ hook a brother up hook a brother up mail me some shirts off to my second order right now waiting on job support to respond but I don't know how long that's gonna take and my second job is what less than two blocks away so I'm gonna go ahead there now a little bit early on this one once again easy to find a parking spot around here this was one of those deliveries where I just walk up walk in the office there's about 25 people in the room every single person in the room looks at me and I'm like just a little weirded out I'm like have a food delivery 
I just set the food down and no one says a word. Everyone just looks at me the whole time. How weird is that? Question, how would you guys react if you went on a delivery? You went up to a room and it was full of people, like 20 people, 30 people, full of adults. And you're like, hey, I'm here to make a delivery. And not one person say anything. Is that a little weird or is that like, the way things are nowadays. I don't know. Like, I, I just think that's kind of weird. It happens every, it happens every once in a while. It's, ha it's starting to happen more frequently now. Don't know why, but let me know. Do you guys ever have this same problem whenever you go out and do deliveries? You just like make the delivery and, and it's just like really awkward like that? Now at the next pickup and I went inside, walked up to the counter. There's maybe three or four people like in the restaurant in the pickup area I walked straight up to the counter and gave the lady my number 2257 whatever I give give her the number and the lady literally screams the number back at me right and I'm like okay that's that's the number that's it and then she screams it again like 22345 and I'm like all right so she screams it again. Now by the third time I realized that look, maybe this order is not ready. I don't know why this lady is just screaming this number. 2254 caviar. Like she's literally screaming to the top of her lungs. And I'm like, dude, I'm just gonna walk outside for a minute. So now I'm outside taking a little break. I'm gonna give her like two or three minutes and I'm gonna walk back in there. I don't know, obviously something was up in there. I, I just couldn't figure it out and I thought I would come outside and have a breather. Just picked up that order. Don't you guys love it when you go to a restaurant and you tell the person, hey, I'm picking up for caviar or I'm picking up for whatever. And then that person literally screams in the restaurant, pick up for caviar. And it's like, really? You're literally telling everyone in this building that like, I'm the pickup guy for caviar, you know? All right, I get it. I'm your slave. I get it. I get it. But come on, you don't have to like scream out loud to everyone, especially in front of me. Like I'm standing right in front of you and you are literally screaming the order number in caviar. That is so unprofessional, like so unprofessional. And that restaurant was like, it's a pretty snobby restaurant. And I'm not talking about snobby like, oh, you're we're better than you. You can't come in here. I'm talking about like, it's a really decent restaurant. I can't believe that this crazy lady's working there and she's like all oh, just going buck wild, screaming at folks. All right, first I thought that was Uber, but that's not Uber, that's the city. The city, they're just driving each other around. That's our tax dollars. Whenever you get a ticket, the money goes to these folks. This order is over with. It took me like 10 minutes to get in the building. There was a problem with the door, but I was able to still get in the customer buzzed me in came all the way up to deliver the item give it to the customer knocked on the door knock 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 no one comes to the door three minutes later knock again knock 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 no one comes to the door it's been five minutes now i'm just gonna leave the item in front of the door in jet peace 125 right now just picked up my last pickup that i'm gonna do and this pickup is in the Mission District. It's going to Soma, which is not that far away. After that, I'm gonna jump on the bridge and go back to Oakland. Kind of a perfect way to end the afternoon. When I was at Trader Joe's earlier, I got these veggie hummus wraps. And these are pretty tasty. Easy peasy, just like that. Just drop that delivery off. Now it is time for me to jet. Let's go to Oakland and run errands over there. Just dropped the car off at Firestone and now I am, what, back to this thing. Back on my scooter. I think I'm actually gonna scoot all the way to my house because my phone is, I think it's like 20% battery. So that's not a good idea to be out on 20% battery. So I'm gonna skate all the way back and then maybe take an Uber back here later to pick up my car if I don't feel like scooting all the way back. But that's a long way to scoot all the way back. Just have to see how I feel, because I'm kind of on the hungry side right now. Ooh, idea. Go home and eat food. Eat food from last night. Great idea. Let go.